are here for the local tech news. Siyempre, nandiyan na po ang isa sa mga headline natin. Intel 12th Gen is finally here in the Philippines, followed by laptop shortage, video card shortage, still Gigabyte, MSI, Asus, and ASRock. What is the status of their stocks, especially pagdating sa Z690 models? Now also, we will cover today the uh, RAM pricing. How is it going? Same with the SSD. And finally, Windows 11 official update was rolled out last month. Pero what is our feedback at the same time? Is this the right month to build your PC? Now let's move on. And for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDK, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Intel 12 Gen is finally here in the Philippines. 12900K, 12700K, and 12600K. That is from the i9, i7, and i5 variant. Mauna po lagi na lumalabas ang mga mainstream to high-end models pagdating sa processors as usual from the Intel side. Pero like what happened when they first released their i9 variant shortage po or it's very very limited po ang stock na dumadating or allocation here in the Philippines. Kaya nga po when they released the first i9, i9-9900K back then if you remember it right, meron pong mga ginawa ang mga retailers that they outsource their stocks from abroad just to have something para ma-serve sa local consumers. Dahil nga po as of today, Intel uh, 12 Gen or Aldor Lake ang dumarating pa lang po is from only one distributor but we will expect more by next week from the MSI brand so as usual ang mangyari po dyan is an Intel and Gigabyte lineup ang una pong serve sa ating local market and then followed by MSI, Asus and ASRock now to give you a hint of how will be the distribution of this very limited stock ang mangyari po is if the retailer A is meron ng i9 then they may not have that opportunity to have the i7 and i5 unless from other motherboard bundles. So bundles po ang usual setup pagdating sa distribution. So that will be a processor and a motherboard. So a processor with an MSI. So if they get uh, the uh, MSI and i5, then pagdating sa gigabyte, they may have the i9 and uh, gigabyte motherboard. That will be also the same with ASUS. Hopefully, uh, magkaroon pa na mas maraming stocks by the coming days. Pero tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, Retailer A may just have one bundle from each brand unless they are big retailers siguro. Pero we cannot speculate as of today dahil wala pa po ito yung confirmation. Then follow-up updates pagdating naman po sa ating mga laptops is still shortage pa rin po as of the first week ng November 2021. Laptop shortage pa rin pagdating sa ISUS. Nahihirapan pa rin po tayong makakita ng mga available stocks, especially pagdating sa entry level and the enthusiast or mainstream variant from 50k and above. Same with the brands like Acer and Lenovo. However, as of today, kahit pa paano, medyo mas okay po ang stocks pagdating sa mga high-end models ng laptops compared sa entry level. Kaya makikita po natin na medyo hindi na po ganun ka-overprice yung mga laptops compared back in September. Now, moving on to sa video card, medyo affected po kagad ang ating pricing. Hindi po nagtuloy-tuloy yung pagbaba or pagsubside ng pricing ng video card dahil nga po tumaas ulit ang cryptocurrency. Pero that will not affect much pagdating naman po sa video card pricing. It may just stay or as SRP ang pricing ng video card pero hindi po tayo mag expect na bumagsak or bumaba as soon as possible. It will just stay dahil nga po ang kukunin lang naman po ng mga miners or cryptocurrency miners are those non-LHR variant. Kasi based on our records, LHR na po ang mostly na available sa mga retail stores and the same sa mga distributors. And the good news nga lang dito is kahit pa paano compared back then, hindi na tayo mapipilitan to set or to avail those video cards na 5 years old or more than 3 years old. Kahit pa paano, we can uh, have those GTX 1650 over the GTX 1050 Ti 
dahil sa Lazada and Shopee and other retailers, medyo mas comfortable na po yung stocks na pagdating sa GTX 1650. At a price point of 15K and below, GTX 1050 Ti is not anymore worth it. Kasi dati nga po, ang nangyari is GTX 1650 is nasa around 20K. So the go-to video card if you are at a price of or a budget of 10K to 15K, GTX 1050 Ti. Pero recently, nakita nga po natin that GTX 1650 is now at a price point of 15K more or less. It's a good improvement but it's still a bit pricey compared to the normal price that supposedly hindi sana kung sakaling hindi nangyari siguro itong pandemic. Pagdating naman po sa RAM pricing, nagkaroon po ng sudden changes pero it's just very quick. Uh, as of last week, nakakita po tayo na medyo bumaba or bumagsak yung presyo ng mga RAMs sa mga ibang retailers. Pero I doubt that it will be consistent dahil as of uh, last uh, or yesterday, Friday, November, uh, the first Friday of uh, November 2021, nakita na po natin na medyo wala na pong mga stocks ng ibang variants ng RAM sa mga distributors. Uh, based on our uh, conversation with Corsair Philippines, wala na rin po silang available na stocks ng RAMs. And pagdating naman po sa crucial brand, medyo nawawala na rin po yung kanilang mga black variant na memories. Ang natitira na lang po is yung mga white RGB variant sa crucial. So it's not what we expect na supposedly sana is uh, medyo uh, magkakaroon ng mas maraming sale dahil nga po parating ng DDR5. Pero it's not what we see as of yesterday, the first Friday of November 2021. Going on naman sa mga nahihirapan mag-upgrade sa Windows 11 dahil hindi po lumalabas sa kanilang uh, update settings, pwede nyo pong gawin is i-download yung Windows Installation Assistant, Windows 11 Installation Assistant to have or to forcefully update your Windows 10 to Windows 11. Pero syempre kung hindi nyo po ma-update sa Windows 11, you may check some settings especially with the BIOS to enable the TPM. And then another tip kung hindi ka pa rin makapag-decide to upgrade sa Windows 11 dahil nakikita mo na yung start menu is nasa gitna. Most of the users, I don't know why, pero siguro it's uh, quite uh, medyo malaking adjustment for them na nandun yung sa gitna yung uh, uh, start menu. You may just go to the settings and set it to the left side para parang naka Windows 10 ka pa rin pero kahit pa paano you may now enjoy the features of Windows 11. Until now, I may still say that do it at your own risk. Now lastly, is this the right time to build your PC? What I may just say for the last quarter ng 2021, as of November, medyo okay na rin. I think it's a better uh, situation compared to uh, last September na hindi ka na nga nakakapili ng tamang brand, mataas pa yung presyo. Kahit pa paano ngayon, we have now a better situation to choose what brand and model that we may have. Mas marami na tayong variants. And then, uh, pagdating nga lang po sa mga video cards siguro like RTX 3070 or 3070 Ti, medyo magkakaroon tayo ng struggle. Pero going to the RTX 3060 at a price point of 30K more or less, or kahit pa paano, most of the mainstream brands are now below 40K. I think it's a, uh, I think we have now a good enough reason to upgrade if our budget is within that uh, range. Now you can have an RTX 3060 or Ryzen 7 5800X. Yes, you may state na nandyan na yung Intel 12th gen, pero ito nga po ang problema natin. As much as we wanted to introduce uh, Intel 12th gen, there are good reviews and uh, benchmarks released online. Ang uh, pinakamahirap or pinaka-struggle naman natin dyan is yung availability ng stocks. There will be a huge struggle pagdating sa processors at the same time. Of course, if you will go to an Intel 12th gen, uh, a build, it's better if you will settle down with a DDR5 RAM. And as of now, wala pa rin po tayong mahanap masyado na mga DDR5 RAM available sa ating local market. I think, uh, if I may project it right, siguro tulad ng mga nangyari before, ang stocks or availability ng mga Intel 12th Gen processors is uh, maybe by around first quarter ng 2022. As of now, I may not suggest unless you have the opportunity to avail those Intel 12th Gen processors. Pero going to the budget consumers, I think there are now available 3200G and if you want to avoid those overpriced video card or I think uh, you cannot or uh, you cannot still settle down with those SRP pricing, it's better if you will choose those 5600G and 5700G APU processors. As of today, comfortable naman yung stocks na mga ganitong processors compared sa mga 3000 series or uh, yung mga 3500X, 3600 or 3600X. Pero 
uh, we also have seen that there are now available AMD Ryzen 5 3600 sa ating local distribution. Now I may end it here and keep posted sa ating Intel 12 Gen benchmark pagdating sa gaming, how is it performing pagdating sa Windows 10 versus Windows 11 and more in the coming days. Now for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe.